Here's a quick guide on how to install Dungeon Keeper effects for the Steam version or any other version of Dungeon Keeper. So your game goes from this to this. First off, go to Dungeon Keeper in your Steam library. Press right click, manage, browse to location. And then you should see Dungeon Keeper. You go once back. Press right click, copy, and paste. It's all in German because I'm a German speaker. If you have it on GOG, you open your GOG app, then you search for Dungeon Keeper Gold. You then go to Manage Installation and Show Folder. And same story there, you create a copy of Dungeon Keeper Gold. And if you use uh, the EA app or whatever, you go to manage, view profiles, and here you can see my product key, browse. And here it's important, go to data because there's your attention keeper folder. You go back and you create a copy of that as well. Next step is you go to the control panel. So you search for the EA app and uninstall it because it's shit. So when that's done, we go to our copy of Dungeon Keeper. We will rename it to Keeper FX. And now to the next step, we open our browser and we Google for Keeper FX. And there we should see KeeperFX.net. We click it, go to Downloads, and download the latest release version. Later on, we're also gonna download the alpha version, but that's the next step. Here we go. I already downloaded it, so we'll skip this uh, step here. We can close this window. Now we open another window for our downloads folder. Let's clear this shit. Now we need to open Keeper FX and the 1.0 release version. You can open it with WinRAR or WinZip. Double click. We select everything which is in here and drop it in our Dungeon Keeper Effects folder. This will take a little bit depending on your hard drive. We will replace everything. And now we go to Dungeon Keeper Effects. We go to the launch option for Dungeon Keeper Effects. Go to installation. And here we want to copy this path, paste it up here, press enter. And once again, go one back, search for Dungeon Keeper, double click and select this folder. And here select yes. Now Dungeon Keeper Effects is installed. I recommend Go to settings. You can select the mouse sensitivity. For me, it feels best at zero. I will also select the resolution to 1080p. And then we can press save, say yes, and start the game. And now KeeperFX is installed. We can see that the zoom out is working that the drag placing this work and keeper effects is functioning. When we want to update our keeper effects, we want to download the latest alpha version. But keep in mind, if you update, your save files won't work anymore. For that, we click download latest alpha version. I already have done this. So we open this one once again. And like before, we select everything in here and drop it in our Keeper FX folder. And now we have successfully updated Keeper FX. The differences between Dungeon Keeper Gold and Keeper FX is Keeper FX is running on modern Windows PCs. It supports higher resolution, smoother frame rates, and it adds tons of new campaigns. Also, working multiplayer, more atmospheric sound, allows more level scripting, possession got overhauled, the Keeper AI got massively improved, tons of bug fixes, 
and it added loads of new features. We also got a map editor, a creature editor, a script editor. There are also so many new improvements to the game, which takes too long to list them all, but I'm sure you will appreciate them. If you have some questions, feel free to write them down in the comments or join the Keeper Clan Discord to ask there.